Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an Ulta haul and uh, actually Ulta and e.l.f. I did pick up a couple of things from e.l.f. as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. If you're interested in the makeup I recently picked up from both Ulta and e.l.f., please keep on watching. And uh, I do hope you consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Let's go ahead and get into it. I think maybe I'll start with the e.l.f. stuff because I don't have too many things. Um, I actually just received my box and uh, yeah, I'm excited for the things that I ordered. Um, let's go ahead and go ahead and show you the stuff that I ordered from e.l.f. Um, it's not a big haul by any means or anything like that. It just, I just needed a few things and I wanted to try out a couple other things. Um, I've ordered some brushes. The first one that I got is the small tapered brush. Um, the one that I had, I had had it for years and years and years and it finally like gave up on me. A couple months ago it broke. I did not want to deal with re-gluing it or gluing it back on. So I went ahead and uh, picked up a new one. I do really like this one uh, to set under my eye. I have been using a different brush from e.l.f. For setting under my eye I think they call it the one of their blush brushes but it's a little bit too big this is just like the perfect size to fit under my eyes so I wanted to have this one back and then the other two brushes are eyeshadow, eyeshadow brushes um, one is the crease brush and one is the fluffy eye blender uh, I have a couple of these already that I do use I think I have three of them um, and this one I have a different one like I have a couple but I do like having these um, backups of these it just makes it easier so I don't have to constantly wash my brushes um, but then when I do wash my brushes I have a ton of these um, I do really like both of these I mainly use the fluffy eye blender pretty much every single day I use it to diffuse the color into my crease and I do like this one uh, the crease one more of like outer V detailing brush but I do have a lot of uh, lit space so I'm able to do that that. Um, the other two items that I got, one is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Um, I was just watching some YouTube videos and a lot of the girls that I was watching said that this was a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I have tried a sample of and really enjoyed it, but never bought the full size. So I picked this guy up. Um, I, I I really like that uh, those kind of primers, like kind of cool um, I feel kind of like water but end up tacky and then my foundation sticks to it. I do like uh, primers like that. And then the last item from e.l.f. that I picked up is the Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. Um, I usually do use a lash serum. I use the one by Grande um, MD and I kind of got to the point where it's too expensive. So if I can buy the one from e.l.f. I think this is like 8 or $10. The one from... Uh, Grande is 68 and I think this is double the size. I think that one is 2 mil and this is 3.5, a little over double. Anyway, so if this does the same thing, I would be really happy. I don't think I'll try it on my brows, uh, mainly on my lashes, but maybe, maybe I try it on my brows considering how big this guy is. So those are all the items that I got from e.l.f. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about the products that I picked up from Ulta. Alrighty, here is my Ulta box. Um, they split my shipment, my order into a couple shipments. Um, so this box came first and my dog has had the chance to chew on the actual box itself. So we have that, but everything that I've ordered, I've already received. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, they had their platinum and like diamond platinum day. So they had, uh, with $125 purchase, you get a big bag of, uh, samples that's that's what it's all the way up here up on top so you get a huge giant bag of samples um for this one specific order i did use uh 2000 points which is 125 dollars and then i paid maybe like 30 or 40 dollars more um for all the other stuff okay we'll wait uh we'll save the samples bag all the way to the end let's go ahead and get through all of the other stuff um all right actually the day that they had their diamond and platinum uh day thing i placed two orders the first order was the one with for 2000 points which is 125 dollars off my purchase and then i placed another order because they added a few items and then uh like they added a couple more things to the sale 
Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. I play, I ordered two things and then I got the freebie, which was um, the Kylie Ulta lip kit. So, uh, I don't think, I mean, I know that they've done this one um, as a free sample a couple times already, but this is my first time getting it. It's a matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner, and I guess the shade is Ulta Beauty. It must have been some sort of collaboration they had with Kylie. Um, so, here it is. I haven't tried any of her lip liners. It's actually a really nice shade for the lip liner. There it is over here. And then the liquid lip, again, the shade for both of them is Ulta Beauty. Um, I think I love the smell of um, her lip products. Oh, they smell so good. They smell delicious. So there's the liquid lip and the and the lip liner. So I'm really excited to have this as far as like the freebie. Now for that one order, when they added additional items to their sale, they added a couple products like bronzer, blush, and highlighters at 40% off. So that's when I picked up those two. I picked up the tantalizer bronzer by uh, Lorac. And this is in the shade Pool Party. Um, I can't remember what they described it as. I think it was like for a medium skin I want to say or it's a medium bronze um, I haven't tried any of the Lorac uh, bronzer products before I've tried uh, their highlights and I actually do really like the highlight that I have from them so now I picked up the bronzer and then of course they had the pure at 40% off and I absolutely adore this highlighter except the one that I do have is uh when it arrived to me it was like shattered so i repressed it um so now having it i was like okay there it's on sale um this is called the afterglow highlighter i think there's only one shade on pure's um from pure but oh my god it's a beautiful highlighter um now i don't know if i'm gonna keep if keep using the one that i repressed or if i want to start using the new one that's basically brand spanking you look at that highlight it's stunning and then it looks so beautiful on the skin it does not show like uh emphasize any texture or emphasize any pores or anything like that so there it is now i have it like in its actual form um so i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna try and keep working on the other one that i'm working on because i did put it in a panning project i wanted to hit pan or possibly finish it so maybe i'll keep using it until i hit pan and then i'll just start using this guy so this is the second order from ulta the same day order number two now we'll go ahead and go into order number one which was the 2000 points and i believe i only spent about 40 dollars more and that's the one that got me the giant bag of samples the first couple things that i got i got a couple I got a couple things from uh, L'Oreal uh, because uh, I think L'Oreal was buy two for 20 which was for I want to say for their whole complexion products I think so I got a couple things uh, four items actually uh, the first one is the L'Oreal H perfect creamy powder foundation and I got this in the shade 305 cream beige um, for some reason I've been really intrigued about trying new uh, powder foundations um, so here here it is um, it had really good reviews and then I also picked up from the same line uh, the H perfect radiant serum foundation uh, sunscreen which is the one that has SPF 50 a lot of reviews compared it to the A Cosmetics SPF 50 with a little bit less coverage than that one. So I'm really also curious to try this guy out and I got this one in the shade Golden Vanilla. The only problem with this one is the expiration date for the one tube that they sent me is October 2021 which is like what four months away. Um, I'm gonna go exchange it for a different one that has like a longer shelf life because I don't want to I don't want it to go bad it's SPF 50 so I was hoping to use it more of a like an SPF product on days when I don't want to wear a full face um, so you know that's that kind of was a bummer um, the other two L'Oreal products that I picked up were uh, the infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation uh, in a powder I got this one in the shade that I think would be my shade, which is 120 Vanilla. I had picked up a, a one previously, which was a little bit darker than this one. I haven't tried it out yet, but I figured I'll have two shades. One will be good for me to match pretty 
most of the time and then one would be for uh, when I get a little bit tanner. So there's this one. And then the last L'Oreal product was the L'Oreal Infallible for Full Wear Concealer and I got it in the shade 360 Cashmere. Uh, the one that I have is the shade 345 Oatmeal, I wanna say, and it's way too light. I have a hard time using it. Um, I find that it's super brightening and it doesn't give me a good coverage because it's just so bright. So I decided to get my correct shade. From Ulta, I also picked up these two uh, Flower Beauty um, uh, liquid blushes. I got one in the shade Nectar and one in the shade Cinnamon. Um, it was kind of like, okay, it's time. It's, try it's time for me to try these. I've been really interested in them for quite some time and uh, they were buy one get one half off at Ulta, on Ulta's website but the bummer thing is they raised their price because I remember the day that I added them to my cart they were $10 and then the day that I went to check out they were $10.50 I mean they didn't raise it much but they still raised it um, here's the shade cinnamon let's go ahead and do a little swatch of this one feels a little separated but I wonder if it was because it was in the sun. It was super hot yesterday and this was the last package to arrive yesterday. So here it is. It's not um, as dark as I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. I think I'll be able to play with this one uh, with no problem. And then the shade uh, Nectar. Let's open that guy up and do a swatch too. Let's see. Here is Nectar. Okay, better formula seems better. It doesn't seem uh, liquidy and separated like the cinnamon shade. Um, I think it's just probably because of the heat yesterday. And there is Nectar. Um, it's a little bit lighter. Um, they're both very nude neutrally, but this is a little bit lighter. That's uh, and then the cinnamon is a little bit darker. I might be able to like mix and match them to kind of use them throughout the year. Um, I may be able to use the shade cinnamon kind of like a blush contour kind of thing, which I really have been into lately. Um, so there's the two from Flower Beauty to Liquid Blushes. Okie dokie. Um, the free item from the uh, Ulta event was this one. This is the Peach and Lily. Uh, glass skin veil mist hydrate and glow I could not not pick this guy up this is like the code that they send with any purchase I think you get it maybe it was a $25 purchase so I picked this guy up um, so this was the free item and oh my goodness like this is glass it's not plastic or anything I do really like it um, I don't know what it's doesn't have really much of a scent but um, I thought it would smell kind of like peach extract because it says peach extract and Vita complex no scent to it but we'll have to see maybe in a little bit we'll see if my skin's gonna get all glassy and dewy um, so that was one of the free gifts and the other free gift um, was uh, if you buy maybe $25 worth of makeup specifically you get the Lorac Holy uh, Lash Volumizing Mascara. I've never tried a mascara from Lorac so I was like okay I'm buying makeup anyways so might as well get the free gift. Um, I also got a, um, a couple things from uh, Wet n Wild. Let me grab them. One, two. Here we go. A couple things from Wet n Wild. The first one was the uh, bronzing powder like the bronzer and this is in the shade sunset striptease um, I've had Queen's Landing before and you're dragging me down I believe um, they were just a little too deep for me this one I think it's supposed to be good for my skin tone um, I watch uh, Julia Adams and she's always raving about this one so I figured I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try I, I was petting my cat and like I feel like I have cat hair all over my face um, the other two products that I got from uh, Wet n Wild, one is the makeup sponge. I do really like this one and I figured I could always have a backup of a makeup sponge. And then the other thing was the highlighter, the limited edition highlighter. And this is in the SpongeBob shade. 
Um, this was supposed to be a dupe for the Fenty Trophy Wife, which I never picked up, but I was always super interested in it. Um, so I was like, you know, we'll give this guy a shot. It's, it looks very yellow. I don't know how this would look on my skin tone, but we're just gonna try it. it if for anything, it would just be kind of like a cute little highlighter. Try not to buy many cutesy little things. I try to do more functional for me for my skin tone, but this was really cute and um, I was like, okay, let's try it. I never tried Trophy Wife on my skin tone. Um, I also got a couple things. Uh, I got, let's see. Oh, one additional thing that I picked up from Ulta's website, but this is an e.l.f. product. Um, all of the e.l.f. Uh, Jen Atkin were half off on Ulta's website. So I picked up the Mist Me um, Official Mist. Um, it was $4. It had really good reviews. So I was like, okay, we'll give it a shot. It's not that big a deal. I want to try it. And then I also picked up more bronzers. I picked up the Essie Lauder Bronze Goddess, and this is in the shade 01 Light. Um, all the Goddess collection uh, from Essie Lauder was, I want to say, 30% off. And I've had my eye on this bronzer for years, ever since I started watching YouTube almost. Um, so it was like, okay, now's my time to pick it up. It's, it comes with a, a little brush, but okay. Let me take that off. And there's the sheet. I do want to do a swatch of this one. Um, I think this will be a really good shade for... I. It was more on my finger than it swatched on my hand. Not sure why. There we go. Okay. I think this will be a good shade for my skin tone. Um, I hope I do really like it because, again, this was on my wish list for a really long time. Um, it used to be like the one bronzer that a lot of people talked about on YouTube. And it's just, I've, I've wanted to try it for a while. So here it is. Um, the other bronzer, I know, one more bronzer, but this is a cream one. This is by Persona. And this is the Bronze Multi, multi Stick. This is for eyes, cheeks, and lips. And I got the shade... Uh, Sahara, which is uh, the deeper shade. Okay, the, there's a reason why I got the sheep deeper shade. This was supposed to be more cooler tone, uh, more comparable to the Tom Ford contour shade that comes in the duo that everybody just loves. So this was um, really kind of like uh, compared to that contour shade by Tom Ford. So I was like, okay, I really want to try that one. So maybe it's better for me to go ahead and try this one. So here it is. Definitely more uh, contoury than bronzy, but it feels pretty creamy. Um, the packaging is kind of plastic. I like the packaging of those, uh, the nude sticks better. This is a little bit cheaper than the nude sticks. But I just hope that it blends really easily and then it wouldn't give me too much trouble considering it's such a deeper shade. Um, so. I'm just gonna have to try it. I was really interested in these ever since that they posted their pictures, the promo pictures on Instagram. I was like, okay, I'm definitely getting myself one or two or both of these sticks. So here we go. Here's Persona. The packaging, for some reason, just the packaging of this one feels really cheapy to me, which is a, li a little bit more, you know, I don't know, something a little bit more different about it. Um, two more things from Ulta. I did get the Tula Skincare Probiotic uh, Skincare Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen in SPF 30. Um, I think with the Tula also they had like a free gift with $30 brand purchase which was the like the skin and hair vitamins. I have it downstairs. I have been taking them. They taste really delicious. So I, um, I, I needed a good sunscreen and this had decent reviews. Um, it was SPF 30, so I was like, okay, I think this is good enough for me um, on daily basis, unless like I'm gonna be out in the sun, then I'll use a higher SPF, but most of the time I'm just at home. So I picked up this guy from Tula. And then the last item from that Ulta haul, other than the freebie bag, was by Milani. And this is the highlighter duo in the shade Spark Plug. Um, it said one, sh one side is a cream and one is a powder. So I guess one of these is a cream and the other one is a powder. Um, these were on, I think they're just trying to get rid of them at Ulta because they were on sale for $6.49. $6 Usually when it's something at like 
49 cents at all time means it's on sale like being discounted for getting being get rid of or something so here it is it looked so pretty online I'm guessing this is the cream and this is the powder maybe oh yeah although yeah definitely this is more of like that bouncy uh texture creamy and this is like more powdery but they both kind of feel really nice um go ahead and maybe we'll just swatch them over here um the cream is on top and then the powder is on the bottom uh, it did say that the cream was more of the low beam cream formula for a natural sheer wash of color and then the high beam powder for intense color payoff um, definitely like the cream definitely looks like a sheer color and this is more intense. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the two items that I picked up from Sephora when I returned that the Nesta Myrix uh, wet balm that just did not work out for me. I got the Rare Beauty Always On Optimist Illuminating Primer and I picked up the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Medium. Um, this was really, it was hard for me to pass on the first time I went into Sephora because I really wanted the wishful one by Huda so when I had that return I was like you know what I'm just gonna pick it up um, I got the shade medium because it was more on a warmer tone the shade light medium was more like cool tone contouring kind of thing I wanted a bronzer bronzer so I got this one and then the rare beauty always on uh, illuminating primer I just this was on my wish list from the day it came out so I was like okay I got the mini I didn't get the full size because I don't need the full size this is half of the full size 15 mil um, so I'm really looking forward to trying this guy as well. Now we'll go ahead and talk about all the freebies that I got from Ulta, the gift with purchase. Okay, this is a really big bag, so I'm going to just zoom through it um, real quickly. I think it was like 30 free samples that came in the bag. Um, there are a few of them that are makeup samples. I already started using um, the Lancome Monsieur Big Little Baby Mascara, so I'm already using that. Um, in the in the little baggie, I got a Buxom Plump Shot, a Kinship a Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser, a Bare Minerals uh, Strength and Length Mascara, Daily Concepts 2-Pack of Daily Reusable Rounds, Ulta Beauty Banana uh, Sheet Mask, Cover Girl Exhibition ex Exhibitionist <laughs> lid, lid, lid Paint, and this is in the shade Stargazer, and that was very hard for me to say. Uh, Makeup Ebb Thigh Rescue Anti Friction Stick. Um, I guess if your thighs rub together, I need to try that. Uh, Pirate Fragrance Oil. Okay, I've never heard of that one. Uh, a little um, Brow Wiz by Anastasia. This is in the shade Medium Brown. A little sample of Urban Decay All Nighter. That's going to be handy next week when I go on travel. Uh, MAC Fix Plus. A little tiny one of those. That probably will go with me on travel. NARS uh, Bronzing Powder. And this is in the shade Laguna. This is a little tiny baby. Uh, Benefit Gimme Brow. The shade Light Medium. Neutral Light Medium. It's shade 3. Uh, Lank, uh, not Lank on Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. Kopari Pink Souffle Body Mask. Ooh, interested to try that. Um, Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam, and this is the dark. I'm so excited for this one. I've had the full size in my uh, Safe for Later thing at Ulta. So I'm really excited for that. Hello Activated Charcoal uh, like Epic Whitening Toothpaste. Really excited for that. It's going to be going with me on travel. Um, Redkin Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. That's going to be nice. Um, Kristen S. Style Reviving Dry Shampoo. There's like hair products left down here. But what is this one? This is by Juice, Pu Juice Beauty. And this is Prebiotics. Tartaric and iris instant flash facial okay um authentic beauty concept replenishing mask for damaged hair hey hair products there's a couple shampoos in here like a 
by Purology and one is by Biolage. One is uh, shampoo and conditioner, shampoo and conditioner from these two. Um, it's A10 Blow Dry Miracle H2O Shield. Okay. I'm going to have to straighten my hair. Peach and Lily Power Comb Hydrating Gel Cleanser. And a couple more products. There's a, This is by Saint-Tropez Self Tan a Purity, a bronzing water face mist. Cool. By Origins, checks and balances polish and face scrub with tourmaline, I guess. Uh, by Philosophy, this is the Purity One uh, Step Facial Cleanser. And then the last item is the Urban Hydration Bright and Balanced Micellar Water. Um, my cellar water sample. <laughs> um, a couple of these things are definitely going to be handy. I'm going on travel next week for work, so I will be taking a couple of these things for me. They'll make my life so much easier. Um, this is it. This probably was really a long haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!